So this character here is one of our characters from uh, Zoolandia, Fantastical Romy. Right, there's a first story arc, a, um, which might end up being five, I'm not sure. I'm just, just um, editing and working on the second issue. Um, so it, the, each comic book is going to have like about 40 pages. 30 pages will be an uh, actual story art, and there might be uh, like a couple pages of like um, backup story as well. So you're getting more than 30 pages of story, comic. So this is characters from it. So this is Romy here. Uh, I had some headshots done up by an um, our amazing artist on this. This is um, Ewakim Hagstrom from Sweden. And so this is um, Dramzel. He is a dragonoid which means he can turn from a dragon into a human, and he's huge as a dragon. And this is Romy, our young little New Zealand Kiwi girl. And this is, uh, we got like me and, you know, and uh, this is the hair colors, right? It's supposed to be purple. This is Roma Lena, right? So these are headshots of our main three characters. Uh, let me pop up to some um go back to templeton and we had some like artwork like 5.7 gigs with the artwork dump this week um today overnight yesterday uh so i want to go through some of the artwork show you some of the amazing work there don't want to give too much away but i do want to you know show you guys some of the work we're doing there um and you know i'm just so excited for this because this is first issue right so that means the first issue is completely done now. All well, the artwork is done for first issue. Um, so I'm going to show some work and I'm going to show you others because I don't want you guys, you know, getting everything, you know, sport for you. So check out the work on this, man. This is like Pencil and Inked um, by Eva Kim Hagstrom. Uh, this is the scans. This is before the actual final inks. This is just like, you know, uh, because I've got the completed works this is just like you know him, as you can see you know going over it with a felt pan and later he'll take it to scan it and then he'll re-ink it you know clean it up and stuff which is we've already done so this is little Romy here you know as a kid i think she's about seven or twelve here um you know doing the whole um this world's uh you know the Zoolandia's world's um, Harry Potter thing, you know. And, um, you know, life, parents, like the work on this is brilliant. I love, you know, like I said, I'm just so, um, like, I love working with my artists. Like, this is a great thing about working with humans, not freaking AI shit. It's like all prompters, you know, it's that brings so much life into the, you know, into each aspect of the panel you know like this one really made me like get tearful um yeah i still feel like i'm getting tearful now like just that you know when i was writing this and i was just uh, you know create you know writing the description of a panel and stuff i was like oh man because like even without any text right um because this page is gonna have text but like without any speech bubbles or anything you can see this is like an emotional piece right and um, it's just, yeah. So this is um, our comic book called um, Zoolandia, Fantastical Romy, which is, like, it's an ongoing series of Zoolandia, but Fantastical Romy is the first story arc. And so we gave it her own title, right? Um, so, you know, characters and stuff that are in here. I'm not gonna give you, you know, every page, but I wanna show you some really cool stuff, you know. And you got the dragon I was showing you earlier. Because this is um, the story about this, right? Is um, it's a it's a it's a K fantasy story about a young girl who finds herself in a fantastical world, and so upon arriving, she you know into this crazy place, she meets a dragon, and then you know, then it goes on. So she's got to try to find herself home. That's the story. It's like you know trying to find the way home. So it's a cross between. Uh, a standard is a case story plus in our world uh, of Zoolandia people can come in there from whatever uh, age group uh, timeline of human earth right uh, and this is a version of New Zealand so it's like um, 
it's an alternate version of fantastical, of, you know, fantasy ver sword and sorcery world of New um, version of New Zealand. And so, you know, it's everything, you know, where things are placed, it's like um, places here, but renamed and everything. So like, you know, you have like, um, the dwarfs speak German, right? Uh, and so you got names, places of names that's written in German and stuff like that. Uh, there's humans there, there's beast men, so you like bunny girls or warriors, you know, you have mermaids and fairies, elves, a whole bunch of really cool characters and stuff. And so um, with, uh, you know, with the first issue you've done, basically we're going to, we're now, you know, I'm going to, this week I should have the first, second issue um edited like 30 you know 35 pages or whatever of script edited and then they'll get over to you know send over to Eric Kim and he'll begin that but we're not releasing the first issue until we're set or halfway through the second issue of uh, the work being done the reason for that is because i want to get a good timeline so hey every so many months um, you know six eight months whatever we'll put the next one out because we you know we're building it original uh, you know, work of uh, of fiction, uh, of fantasy. So everything has to be uh, correct, right? Everything has to work together because, like, there's so many um, behind the scenes that stuff that goes on um, that I want to be able to make sure that all that is worked out really well before we put it out. Because it's like at the moment, it's like hundreds of pages of friggin' text that I put together to make sure that we have each character. What is that character's reason for being? What is that species reasons for being? Why are the friggin' mermaids doing that? And why were the orcs doing that? Why are the, you know, what's the magic aspect of that? What is, you know, how does the mana work in this? Like, what are the each levels? And so I got to work all that out from scratch. So it's just why it's taking a bit long, you know, to get it out there. But I think the other thing of this is like, because we have a website for that, right? We have so many things that I've got set up for this that we have actually, for Zelandia, we have a friggin' website for Zelandia. We have, um, let me bring it up there. Yeah. You know, we, we, where are we going to put, you know, that's where the headshot is going to go. We have an Instagram. How long is it going to take you to get onto that page? Yeah. So we've got a Lando page, I think it is. Let me just make sure that's coming up. Hello. Oh, I think it's under Wix, right? That's what it is. It's come up under Zelandia Wix. Give me one sec. Probably easy to get there from Mumbai. Oh, yeah, here's the other thing about that, right? So we actually have a Facebook page. We have an Instagram page. We have a Twitter page for Zelandia. And, of course, the Insta like, did I just mention Instagram? And so because of that, like, you know, because I want, this is one of our, like, one of my main, you know, um, where's your home? Home. Right. So this is the Facebook page for Zelanda where, where I put up some work every now and then. So check it in the chat. And so we're going to, you know, we share the artwork and stuff that's coming up. And I mean, that's been done in time, you know, every now and then. And this is one of our key standalone. Um, there you are. I was just looking at which page I was on. Like I've got so many windows open. Here we go. So, you know, it's an habit, you know, it's just part of everything else we're doing. So you can see like stuff I'm putting up here, the map, redoing the map because I realized that like uh, it was a bit too small. You know, you could walk somewhere in like a like couple of hours or like, yeah, that's not going to work if you're doing, you know, if you're setting up armies to get to places um and also like tr coming up with like these are like images that actually exist in real places and how i'm going to work into my story and how to redesign it all so you get a whole lot like ground you know ground floor um you know um creation of this comic book if you're following this page right you'll see how like you know you're going to it will share photos and go okay this is when you see the final pieces will be you know these are like reference pieces that i'm sending over to my artist right and stuff so you end up like you know this is fun right so this is where i live right now over here somewhere and so this is our little uh, mountain that we have called over that way that way 
Mount Perihaki and done, you know, done like this. And so you got daytime and when it looks like at night or done up as light. And so you get all the, you know, work on different aspects of it that you'll see in the story. And so we just, you know, how much you've got it so far. So it was like 30, 27 pages. So that was in July, right? So, and of course we share the other stuff we're doing, but here's a, here's a promo page that we have in one of our comic going out. So this is Romalina here, you know, and this is, um, of course that's, um, Dramsel and just like breaking up and tells you a, lot, a bit about what this world is. And also I showed you that other, um, you know, um, this one earlier with the image. And so, you know, this is the text on that. And of course the actual, you know, early designs of the character. So you see here, so she's got like this long hat. We decided, I decided like, I don't want, she looked too witchy in that. I don't want to like give that negative aspect to her. So we just chop. I said, oh, why don't we just go with like a cowboy kind of hat rather than that, but a more wider rim. And so we went with that. So she doesn't look like a witch, right? So she looks more like, you know, a setback base. So this is, um, of course, Eva Kim did a cover for uh, Robot Nation. And just like, you know, talking about like how, you know, how magic works, practitioners. We actually, now it's, I actually changed, changed the word from G to a J. So it's totally different, you know, magic instead of magic. It's kind of, I think it's Hindi, magic. And so this is the early, you know, um, designs of the character here for uh, Romy and Romelina, right? And just what it looked like. And then you've got also like elves and stuff. I should just put it higher up there. Yeah, so here you go. So early prelim designs of the characters. And also, you know, designing the logo. Let's get back here. So one of the first things I did was like, um, you know, whenever I like come up with, you know, come up with an idea, I'll go and find a name for it, you know, and then I go and design, you know, and then while I'm writing it, I'll go back and design the logo for it. And so, you know, this was, yeah. So this was like, it was Fantastic Romy and then of course Zolandia. You know, there's another character I've got coming up. It's kind of like a barbarian character. It's called Clarkson Yostruk. And, you know, just saying, how old is he? What's his thing? What's his skin color? What sort of type is he? You know, uh, he's a mercenary, morals, rogue with high morality, warrior type, you know, what's his hair color? You know, he's a blonde with uh, blood red streaks in it, stuff like that. He's a demi-human mixed beast man and demon uh, heritage and so on. You know, weapons, what does he carry? He's got his large broadswords and, um, you know, and a small 40-inch dragon. What do you like about that big? So it's got big, huge, you know, swords and stuff. Um, you know, and also this is other one here like i mean the whole aim of that one day is to you know build a board game um around this world and so i'm just you know showing um, like how much you know this is like like now there's like about 20 30 40 different freaking file files in each folder now because it's gotten so big um and of course the original design of the and there's a reason why it's like this like there's three there right and um, you'll find it out in the comic book, but I don't mind saying it now, right? Um, the reason that's there is like uh, this world has its own uh, uh, religion, right? And it's called the Triface God, it is their, the God they believe in. And so it's like, uh, you know, it's kind of like um, the statue that they actually you know, have to represent or the idol. It's like um, in some places it will be like a male and a, uh, like a parents will be male and female, and then it'll be a male as a child. Or in other places they'll worship. Uh, it'll be a female. Uh, sorry, it'll be a male, right? So it's like it's either male or female, depending what area of the country it is and what species they are. So that's why it's kind of, kind of like the, this whole thing with the logo and Zelandia with the three everything, you know, three down, three across with a name. You know, as you can see, let me just say, this is what I mean. It's like three across, three across, three down, and all this. So it's everything's good to do with three with this. And so that was kind of like just kind of like doing something different instead of aspect. I think this was, yeah. So this is one of the early maps, but like now it's at least a whole lot of different, smaller. Like I did a new map where it's just got a whole lot of stuff just around here, northern area. 
but yeah, so that is Zulandia, and hopefully, you know, um, we'll be able to share more images and more color images. Uh, and right now, um, Eo Kim's actually doing it um, for the issue one, right? He's doing a wraparound cover, which we're going to release as a number one cover. So it's number the A cover will be a wraparound cover, which means, and then later on, we'll be releasing that as a chrome cover because I want to like release a, that same cover in a really cool variant wraparound chrome. It'll be look really cool. And um, yeah, so that is all for me today. I didn't get much art done, right? Um, but I think, yeah, cook it down, be well. And catch you later.